is all about. Each one of us has to come and try to learn from great rabbis, like Rabbi Wolby and all his associates, so that after 120, when God looks at our book, his signature is going to be in our book. And we, in turn, have to become those type of Jews that are so inspirational to others that we sign other people's books. That's Viyad Kol Adam Chaysabai. We're all in it together. That's what life is all about. Getting close to great people, letting them sign your book, so to speak, and then you going out and you doing things that you're going to sign their books. And Jeff, I want to tell you something. You have signed the books of hundreds of people this Shabbos, you and your family. What an unbelievable memorial for your late mother, whose yurtzeit is coming up. First yurtzeit. And what does Jeff do? There are many people who do different things on a yurtzeit. But Jeff decided, let's make it a Shabbos of Torah. Let's make it a Shabbos of inspiration. And because of that, his mother, Allah Shalom, and Jeff and his wonderful family have signed the books of hundreds of us. Because many people hopefully were inspired this Shabbos. They'll change because of it. And it'll only be because of this Shabbos. Hashem should bless you. The memory of your mother should be a blessing. Rabbi Wolby, I just give you a bracha. That this torch should light a torch in Klai Yisrael. You know, I was so moved when I heard that Rabbi Wolby is the grandson of Rabbi Shlomo Wolby. Because I loved that man. I went to see him. I read his swarm all the time. You come to my house, Ali Shur is all marked up. I quote it so many times. And his book, he has a book, Netia Obinion, Raising and Planting, Raising a Jewish Child. Any of you that have children that want to know how to raise a child, read that little book. It's printed in Hebrew and in English. And I just want to end by telling you something that your grandfather once told me. I'll never forget it. I went to visit him in um, Givat Shol, that's where he lived, right? I went to visit him with Givat Shol, he's wearing his big yarmulke, he's such a beautiful person, like from a different age. And I said to him in front of my children, I had my son and my daughter-in-law there and one of my grandchildren. I said, Rebbe, tell me, you know, I have the opportunity to speak about Chinuch, Torah education, to many parents all over. What should I tell them? And he said, I'll never forget this. He said, tell every parent there are two things they have to give their children, time and love. So my son was in the cola, and I guess he was worried how much time is he going to have to spend with his son, right? So he said, Rebbe, how much time do I have to spend with my son? And Rabbi Bobo gave the classic answer in a second. And he said, as much as they need. And that's what life is all about. We all need time. Our children need time. Our grandchildren need time. Our friends need time. We have to be there for them. That's what Torch is all about. And when I heard years ago that Rabbi Wolby and David are learning with Chavrusa, their Torah partners, oh my gosh, made me so proud. You're the pride of the family. It's amazing. <laughs> Certainly the most handsome in the family, that's for sure. <laughs> Hashem should bench you. should find the right zivug. I'll be the moil for your kid. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get the knife on the plane. Well, okay, we'll have to see if it's in <laughs> But again, Jeff, thank you for a wonderful Shabbos and thank all of you for coming. Hashem should bless all of you. You should fulfill your potential and become people that have that torch of Yiddishkeit within your hearts. Thank you.